In our next section, I want to take a look at the chambers of the heart. So here we have one of our heart models, and there's a heart up there on the screen. We have four chambers in the human heart. We have two atria, they're up towards the top of the heart. From the front of the heart, you can only see these little extensions of the atria called the auricles. So this would be the right auricle here, and this is the left auricle on this side. You have to imagine this, so this heart were in my chest, so this is my right and my left. So right oracle and the left oracle. If we turn this heart around so you can look at the back, that's where you can see the main bulk of the, of the atria. So here would be the right atrium here, and here's the left atrium here. The function of the atria is to collect blood coming to the heart in the veins. So blood coming to the heart from the body comes in the superior, in inferior vena cava into the right atrium. And blood that's coming back to the heart from the lungs comes into the left atrium here through the pulmonary veins. The atria then contract and push blood into the ventricles. So we have two ventricles. We have a right ventricle and a left ventricle. On the outside of the heart, you can see we have a coronary sulcus. That's this groove here between the atria and the ventricles. You can see it on the back as well, the coronary sulcus. And you can see the interventricular sulcus that goes between the two ventricles. So here's the interventricular sulcus, so you can see the right ventricle and the left ventricle. And that does continue around the back as well. The ventricles, when they contract, they push the blood into the arteries to go away from the heart. The right ventricle pushes blood into the pulmonary trunk which then divides into the right and the left pulmonary arteries to carry blood to the lungs. The left ventricle, when it contracts, pushes the blood up into the aorta to carry the blood out to the rest of the body. There are three branches from the aorta. These go to the right side of the, of the um, body, to the arm and the right side of the head. That's the brachiocephalic artery. Then we have the left common carotid artery that's going to go up the left side of the head. And here we have the left subclavian artery that's going to go out to the left arm. The um, aorta then turns and goes down, and it will travel all the way down your back to help supply blood to your abdominal organs, to your pelvic organs, and to your legs. If we take a look inside the heart, we can see the four chambers, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. And we can also see these funny things here. These are the valves. We have valves in the heart that are important for keeping the blood from flowing backwards. When the heart contracts, we don't want to send the blood back where it came from. We want to make sure it moves forward to get out to the lungs or out to the body. And that's what these valves do. We have two pairs of valves. We have AV valves, those are atrioventricular valves. The AV valves are found between the atria and the ventricles. So we have the tricuspid valve that's on the right side of the heart, and then we have the bicuspid valve here that's on the left side of the heart. And these valves are pretty interesting. They have cusps. Those are the little flaps of connective tissue that are actually going to swing up and block the opening to the atria. And those cusps are connected by these little strings, the chordae tendinae, to little lumps of muscle at the bottom of the ventricles called the papillary muscle. What happens is that when the ventricles are relaxed, the cusps hang down like this, and the valve is open. So blood can flow from the atria into the ventricles. When the ventricle contracts, the pressure of the contraction causes those cusps to swing up to block the path to the atria. The chordae tendinae and the papillary muscles are important because they hold the valve closed so that it doesn't open up into the atrium and let blood go backwards into the atrium. We also have two semilunar valves. The semilunar valves are found between the ventricles and the arteries. So here on the right side of the heart, we have what's called the pulmonary semilunar valve. That's going to keep blood from flowing from the pulmonary artery back into the ventricle. On the left side, we have the aortic semilunar valve. The aortic semilunar valve keeps blood from flowing from the aorta back into the ventricle. These valves are closed when the heart is uh, relaxed. So when the ventricles are relaxed, the semilunar valves are closed, so blood doesn't flow back from the arteries into the ventricles. When the ventricles contract, the pressure of that contraction pushes the cusps up out of the way so that the valves are open and the blood can flow into the arteries.